Hey y'all, it's video time, question and answer, let's get it. First question, is dating your teacher morally acceptable in the eyes of society? Alexander, here's the thing, in the eyes of society, does it matter? Probably not. In the eyes of God, however, yeah, it matters. So, there's your answer. Alright, Q&A time. Basically, I got a lot of the same responses from people, but that's because I need questions. So, whatever questions they ask, I'm just going to go in order. So, for example, what is your favorite song, and why is it Bambi by Hippocampus? Alex is not my favorite song. My favorite song, as everybody knows, is Moon Tower by Dirty Heads. Very good song. Very good. Weed smoking. Moons. That's it. I mean, it's a good song. That's, that's just some of the things that I remember, but otherwise... It's a good song, good jam. These pigeons are really, like, just moving, they grooving. Ever have a near-death experience? Yeah, uh, a few times. All of them were drowning. The first one was, I was like two or three, and I was at uh, one of my mom's co-worker's son's birthdays that I don't remember him at all, or their entire family, for that matter. Shut up, Penske truck. Get out of here, you stupid, stupid idiot. It's like a pool party. Uh, me being two or three, I had to have floaties on because I didn't know how to swim because I was two or three. So I guess I f either fell in or went in on my own accord and uh, started drowning. And my sister, being older than me, uh, was trying to get my mom's attention. My mom dove in and she rescued me. And I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm alive. The second time was at my... That's a butterfly. The second time I was at my landlord's house with my uncle and, you know, like all my all my family, uh, my uncle was there and he's like, hey, David, you should go in that pool. So I went in that pool, me being like six or seven, still not knowing how to swim at the time, uh, I almost drowned. And then uh, my dad dove in, saved me, picked me up, and I threw up in the pool. And then the landlord's son, he just went, Why is Bambi by Hippocampus the best song ever made? That's basically the same question that you ask. Bambi is a very good song, but me, personally, I prefer Simple Season, or we could go something else, like, you know, Suicide Saturday is a really good song. What else is there? Monsoon's a banger. Let's see, Sal. Uh, Bashful Creatures. Uh, Close to Gold. Sophie So, Little Grace, naming almost every song, Opportunistic, Souls, I think I'm missing one. No, that's all six songs from Bashful Creatures. I just named those six songs from Bashful Creatures, which is not something I'm proud of, because it's six songs. It's six songs on that album. Who cares? Anyway, Bambi, good song. Yes, Bambi album, and it's okay. Landmark's better, and then it's Bashful Creatures, and then it's Bambi, and then all demos, because I haven't listened to the demos. Therefore, why is Hippocampus so good? They're very good, Alex. Like, seriously, they have no right to be this good. They're very good, Alex. Also, Arctic Monkeys are overshadowed by AM, even though their first two albums are good. Well, see, here's the thing, Alex. I've never listened to Arctic Monkeys, so <laughs> be mad. Emrod asks, what are some of your favorite hobbies and favorite things about them? This, the YouTubes, uh, editing, that's a lot of fun. That's one of my favorite things about YouTube, editing. But also editing is one of my hobbies, which is technically one of my favorite things, or my favorite thing would be YouTube because editing for YouTube, because I don't make anything else with them. <laughs> Why do you sim for Vanessa Doofenshmirtz? I don't. First off. Second, shut up, Dylan. You simp for Vanessa Doofenshmirtz. I don't. Therefore. Wu to U Wan for Er Bith Dai. Uh money. I'll take money. I will take money and hold on to it. Save it. Invest it. Stocks. I'm just kidding. I Too many people drive at this time of day. It is 4.16. It's almost 4.20. What's your favorite game you haven't played? Probably Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Just because it is. I want that game. And you have it, Dylan. And uh, next time I come over to your house for the next camp night, which will probably be... 
which will probably be in I'm gonna check my calendar never because of the quarantine uh, I'm gonna play it and I'm gonna beat that game in that time that I'm there I'll beat it for you not beat you for it but beat it for you Rachel asks who do you have a crush on you but that's a boring answer so we're just gonna go with Rufus from Kim Possible or Lyman from the Garfield comics, but he got executed, he got killed off around 1984. I think it was 1984, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was 1984. If it wasn't 1984, it was sometime, I think maybe the early 1999, 1990s, I mean, not early 1999, because that doesn't make sense. But Lyman had a resuscitation in the Garfield show, which was, uh, I believe, 2010 that that aired, and then he was on an episode in either 2013 or 2015, where he's in the jungle, he's like taking care of a bunch of animals that are in the jungle, and the episode where I tried watching the episode it was only available in Portuguese at least for the audio and the subtitles the subtitles were only Portuguese and there was no English no Japanese no Spanish no nothing no Chinese no German no Russian no Czechoslovakian I think is a language but either way uh, Rufus or Lyman those are my answers and then she goes to say I'm kidding what's your life goal so basically Rachel you just said you do not care about me but anyway my life goal is YouTube or twitch streamer photographer, graphic designer. That's it, I think. Right now the goal is uh, 100,000 on the YouTubes. That's not gonna happen for a while because I'm only at like 43 right now, which is fine, it's better than previous years. Do you think you could win in a fight with a bear? I don't know if you've seen these guns. that Chad walk, but I'm gonna beat a bear up if I see it. Ain't no bear wanna mess with this. I'm... What the? Wait, wait. What the? Ain't no bear wanna mess with this. I'm a lunatic. I'd probably die first. Favorite part of JoJo, so I'm assuming you actually mean part? So I'm going to say part two, and then it's part four, close second, and then part three, and then part five, then part one. Part one is really good. I'm only judging by the anime because uh, I've read a little bit of part six, but uh, I don't like reading manga, if that makes sense. I'm more of an anime type boy. Anyway, part one's really good. It's just an origin story, basically. Introduction of the Dio, and then what Hamon is, but then it just gets kicked out after part three, so... Either way, part two is my favorite JoJo. My favorite part, actual, like, scene from JoJo, probably that part in part three where uh, it's Mariah's Bassett is used on both Joseph Joestar and Muhammad Avdal, and uh, they get stuck together, and it's the scene that's on screen right now, and I don't want to describe it, but it's that scene right there. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. What's your hobby? This, editing, video games. Also, I should have probably said that for Emron's question. Video games. I am, you know, let's let's be real. I'm a nerd. So, I play video games a lot. A whole heck of a lot. Not to brag, but uh, I put 100 hours in Animal Crossing the week it came out. So, from March 20th to about March 27th, the following Friday, I put about 100 hours in, which is a, a simple feat for me, really. Is there a food you absolutely cannot eat? I hate seafood. Any kind. Despise it, don't like it. I had tilapia in Honduras, which was, it, it wasn't that good, but it was more tolerable because it was seasoned well, because, you know, Hondurans know how to season food. But seafood in general, I do not like. I hate tuna, I hate salmon, I hate snapper, I think I've had snapper, grouper, I believe I've had um, squid. I took a bite on accident, not knowing it was squid somehow. Uh, what else is there? Sushi, I've had one sushi thing, it wasn't good. Uh, I don't really want to try it again, but if I have to, I will. Uh, cinnamon. I hate cinnamon. And I'm never, I'm never eating anything with cinnamon ever again. It is that bad. I hate it. It is terrible. It doesn't taste good. What else is there? That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Favorite revolution in history? I'd have to say the Whiskey Rebellion. Um, just because it was the one that I remember from A Push, which I'm currently in, you know, gotta get that big brain status. The Whiskey Rebellion is just like, uh, some dudes like, okay, so there's some whiskey here. Let's rebel with it. That's the basic synopsis.
come on. I deserve an A in A push. Milk first or cereal first? I don't eat cereal that much, and even when I do, I don't drink it with milk, but, or drink it, drink, I, honey nut Cheerios. No, I, I don't, I don't eat cereal much. I don't eat breakfast much, but when I do, I eat cereal most of the time without milk, just because uh, I want to drink milk separately. That's just how I am, but I'm also not technically against eating cereal with milk, I just don't. But uh, if you put milk first and then you pour the cereal, that's just weird because then by the time all the milk hits the bottom, it's immediately soggy and then it's just, it crumbles. That's no bueno. And you're a psychopath if you do that and you're also illegal. Uh, if you had a brand of something, what would the name be? Um, a brand of what? If I had a clothing brand, I think I would just have a clothing brand. The name of it? Who who knows? Who, I, I can't think of anything. And uh, that's it. That's it. I'll put something on screen if I think of it in the meantime. But uh, I don't got nothing right now. Could you break a vase over your head and still be conscious? Yes, because I'm thick skulled. But if it's a like heavy vase and I get hit uh, in my temple area, um, it might impale my brain. And I would... I'd rather not have that happen because... This noggin's secure. Call it Nick Jr. Ooh, that's a bar. That I'm writing that down, right? Brooklyn asks favorite color. Green, that's it. Leaves. It's why I'm outside, actually. It's a very beautiful day. I hope you can see it better on this camera. Let me move out of the way. Look at that sky. Look at that. Look at those colors. And then I move it back down. And I just messed up my angle, but that's fine. Look at all that green. My, green is my favorite color. So why it's my backdrop sometimes. What is your favorite item of clothing that you own? I'm gonna go get it. This bad boy. Got that drip. Okay. Got that drip. You only want it. Uh, I'm gonna do a photo shoot after I finish this. on yeah I'm gonna leave this on I'm gonna do a photo shirt photo shoot with it it is 90 degrees outside why am I wearing why did I make that decision what is a strange habit you have I <laughs> well I this is probably just because I wear glasses but I push up my glasses right in the middle or right here with my knuckle actually not not with that either with my knuckle or my middle finger and when I take off my glasses sometimes sometimes I just do that out of habit so it's probably just a it's probably just a, uh, a glasses person wearing thing, glasses wearing person thing. But see, I do that, like I just look off to the side. Also, a strange habit I have, sweating. Um, Cause I got hyperhidrosis, which isn't that big of a deal, but I make it a big deal because uh... Do you mind? Do you have any embarrassing stories? Not that I can think of off the top of my head. Not that I can think of off the top of my head, but actually, I don't know if this is a story or not. My mom has a picture of me being butt naked when I was like one or two, and she's gonna use that as blackmail against my future wife, whoever that may be, whenever that may be. That's not really a story, that's just a piece of blackmail my mom's gonna use against me. I'm okay with that, actually. I do not mind. How much money would I have to pay you in order to get you to shave your head? I was going to say a thousand dollars, but you know, 500, 500 would work. I'm okay with 500. If anybody pays me $500, like straight up cash money bills in my hand, uh, for personal use, I will just shave this boy. What is my favorite number? You know, 22. It's a cool number, and it's also my birthday in January. That's really it, there's no significance. Uh, do you have any nicknames? If so, which one do you hate or like the most? My mom calls me monkey just because I like climbing. There's a tree right here. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna swivel. There's a tree right here. This thing has been here since before I was born and I used to climb it all the time. But uh, we've cut off some of its branches so I can't exactly climb anymore. 
and also um, with these bad boys known as toes, uh, I like picking stuff up from the ground with my feet when I don't have shoes on, just because I don't want to have to bend down, pick something up, you know what I mean? Y you feel you feel the steez? Yeah. Actually, I don't have one that I hate. Uh, yeah, no, I don't. I really don't. Yeah. I got some good ones. Actually, my favorite one uh, that isn't from my mom is probably Davy Jones, which uh, my friend Chris, fam, let's be real, good boy, um, known him since like fourth grade. Uh, he called me Davy Jones, uh, and that is sticking with me. That is a very good nickname that I like. I need water. Also, I rolled up the sleeves because it is now very hot and I'm perspirating. Check out these wrinkle lines. Actually, well, there's a little bit of sweat right there. And up there. Who cares? That's fine. What is your favorite movie? Uh, well, I explained this in my welcome video, but it's fine. I'll repeat it again. My favorite Marvel movie is Guardians of the Galaxy. Actually, I changed my non my favorite non-Marvel movie, and it's it's been Princess Bride. I don't know why I wrote Ferris Bueller's. That's my second favorite movie that isn't Marvel, but Princess Bride is number one, then it's Ferris Bueller, and then it's Aladdin, and then everything down there. What's your favorite SpongeBob episode? I could be like any other band nerd and just say band geeks. It's a good episode. Yes, probably uh, the one with uh, Caveman Spongebob, I, I, it's on the screen, whatever the name is, it's like right on my neck. I don't remember the name of it, I used to watch it all the time, because that was like the only Spongebob CD disc DVD that I had, and I would keep watching it again, it's the, it was like the, I think it's an hour long special, it's got Pat, Patchy the Pirate, and then he's got the, uh, the Caveman, who is actually Bill Fagerbacky. Um and he's in that, he's the caveman, and then there's the robot. Um, yeah, that that was, uh, that's that's probably my favorite. When was the last time you cried? Okay, spoilers, My Hero Academia. Nerds, who cares if you, if you haven't seen it, uh, and you plan on watching My Hero Academia, get away, get, leave, go. So the last time I cried was at My Hero Academia. I think it's the middle of season four, when, uh, Night Eye dies and All Might starts crying. That's when I cried, and that's the only time I've cried at uh, at My Hero Academia. Uh, very good show, might I say. So yeah, it was the last time I cried, and it, it it wasn't that hard. I tried not crying, and I failed, but I'm okay with it because it was funny. Uh, what is your favorite song right now? Um, right now, like currently in the current moment, probably Bashful Creatures by Hippocampus. Uh, we didn't make it to the moon by Milky Chance, uh, or Zoom by Last Dinosaurs. Good songs, all very good songs. That's pro those are probably my top three right now. Buffalo wings or chicken wings? Uh, buffalo wings. Uh, buffalo wings are superior, medium, preferably from Buffalo Wild Wings. Very good, and also this local place. I'm not gonna say the name of just for safety concerns. I don't I don't really know if it's that big of a deal, but they're really good. The medium wings, they're not like super hot, they're like medium. They're basically Frank's Red Hot, but what are all these interruptions? Why are they here? What is happening today? There is the weave. There is a motorcycle. <laughs> My sister, Megan, is definitely her name. Why do you like Dr. Pepper so much when it's the worst soda? First off, you need to step back, young lady. You're over there in the house right now. Dr. Pepper is the superior soda. Sprite is a bunch of poop, except for Sprite Cranberry, which is actually really good, and it's discontinued. Now they got like the Sprite Cranberry ginger thing that Dylan did a review on, and it's not that good. Sprite in general isn't that good. Uh, the worst soda is, oh, it's not even a soda, I was going to say root beer. Root beer is terrible, I hate root beer. I will say, something I do like, um, in Honduras, the, uh, the grape soda, I didn't have the banana drink, Andrew, I'm sorry, and Davey, I didn't have the banana drink, and I need to have the banana drink, but we can't go down to Honduras because of this whole thing. Backstreet Boys reunion tour. When will you have a consistent upload schedule? Never, because... When will you upload an Animal Crossing playthrough since that's all you do anymore? I do play a lot of Animal Crossing. 
I'll probably do a playthrough when I get a capture card because I don't just want to have like Animal Crossing right here and then my phone camera looking at it because uh, no, I want a capture card to make it look good. Why is there so much wind? This is not Chicago. We are the Sunshine State, not the Windy City. All-time favorite Animal Crossing special character and favorite villager. Uh, special character is Rover, who is now a villager, might I add, because of the new version 1.2.0 update, the April 23rd release date. In that video that Nintendo released a few days ago, uh, Rover was sitting there in the background, you know, with his, like, sweater vest, and I'm going to get him as a villager and I do not care what it takes, I will get Rover. And then if not Rover, KK, and then afterwards, Brewster, because... And then my favorite villager is Filbert. Filbert is the best, uh, he's a squirrel, that, that blue squirrel that's on the cover, and then it's Apollo, his second, uh, and then it's Rod, and then Hugh, then Jeremiah, those are my five favorites. Austin asks, what are some of your favorite meme formats? Okay. Oh gosh, I don't remember which one it was. The memes of 2020 have been really good. I can't think of the one that I said was my favorite. I can't, I like, I know it's my favorite. I can't think of it off the top of my head. I can't, I can't, I can't think of it. I will put whatever I come up with on the middle of my screen right here. I think I got my swells. Women. Bella asks, have you seen Mad Max Fury Road? No, I haven't, but I've heard good things about it. There are many movies I haven't seen in my life, actually. Like, good old classics, like, uh, well, I've seen Die Hard. I've seen Die Hard. That I'm okay with. Silence of, well, you know, Silence of the Lambs, I'm like, it... He snuck up on me. I haven't seen The Matrix. I still haven't seen Narnia movies. I haven't seen The Hobbit, I haven't seen Lord of the Rings. Uh, I still haven't seen the new Star Wars things, like Force Awakens Onward, haven't seen any of. So, I need to watch those. I got Disney Plus. I also haven't seen a lot of Disney Plus, or not Disney Plus, Disney movies, like, uh, I haven't seen Hunchback of Notre Dame. Uh, I haven't seen, uh, Tarzan. I haven't seen Hercules. That's all I can think of off the top of my head. Lizard! What's the next haircut or color? Exact same cut, the undercut with it long on top. Let me put the other way just so you can see how like emo I sometimes am not. I, I'm definitely going to keep this cut uh, the way it is. I need a haircut for for the side for the sides here. I need that cut uh, just like shaved, you know, undercut lesbian look. Next color, I haven't decided yet. Um, I don't want to do this this time, but I do want to do uh, platinum or like a silver color because it's really cool. Also, believe it or not. This was blue at some point. It's just faded, like, pond scum color. So, uh, here's a picture of what I look like with blue hair. If I still have a picture, if I don't have a picture, now I can just go back, find something on Snapchat, post it right there. That's what I look like with blue hair. It's, it was rad. I enjoyed it. I also had yellow hair before that, uh, and it looked really good. I got called Lemonhead, which I'm okay with. Savannah asks, numero uno Bible verse. Um, I have it saved. I don't have it memorized, which is really sad. I found it. Uh, Proverbs 3:25 through 26. That is very good. And it says right here, Do not be afraid of sudden fear, nor of the onslaught of the wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence and will keep your foot from being caught. That's my favorite one. Well, there's no sudden fear going on. The Lord will be my confidence with all this wind right now. Good segue. Oh boy. Is red cabbage red or purple? It's purple. It's called red cabbage because it was probably some dude who's like, What's up guys? I'm Logan Paul. Uh, so here's this cabbage. It's red. So I'm going to call it red cabbage. And then everybody knows that uh, it was actually purple. Actually is purple because it still exists. What compelled you to start your channel? I had no place to put all the stupid things that I do on the internet. 
So I was like, I'm going to make a YouTube channel because all the cool kids are doing it right now. Namely, Andrew Sprott. You should go subscribe. I think he has 246 subscribers at the time of making this video, which is April 23rd at precisely 4.46 p.m., which is a Thursday of 2020. I believe he has 246 subscribers. Don't quote me on it. Anyway, I had no place to put all these stupid things that I do on the internet, such as this, like wearing my Garfield shirt, doing a QA and a in this kind of style, or uh, food eating, which here's a clip from food eating for which I don't know when it's coming out because I haven't even touched it and edited it yet. So, wow. yeah, um, doing stuff like that, I can't do anywhere else. Can't just put it on Instagram. Can't just put it on Snapchat. Can't just put it on Twitter. I could probably do it on Twitch, but I don't have a good enough um, streaming setup. So I figured, why not edit for YouTube? And that's what I'm doing. Oh, thank you. Uh, Devin asks, when is our last camping video coming out, boy? Uh, I'm editing it right now. I'm about 16 minutes in. Actually, you know it'll be coming out really soon. Uh, today being April 23rd, uh, at precisely 4.48 p.m. on a Thursday in 2020, uh, I'd estimate probably next Friday, which will be uh, May, f or May 1st is next Friday, which is when it'll be, probably. Okay, that's all the time I've got for today. I've got to get back to playing Animal Crossing New Horizons for my Nintendo Switch. Was that a good take? I'm gonna rewatch uh, Reggie's thing where he says that. Okay, that's all the time I've got. I gotta get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS. Perfect, I had it right. Okay, I'm gonna do another take.